Look, Scott's already doing the merch sign yeah, right there. I like it. I like it. Like man, oh, man. <laughs> what, what's with the shades, man? It's not a secret anymore. It's not. It's just uh, trying to be a little bit of a douchebag, I guess I could say, right? Yeah, right. Need right. the sunglasses in the dark. Yeah, it, well, it's girl. well, it's light out, right? So, so it's not girls throwing themselves at you because you just came off of Big Brother Canada 2? <laughs> no, no, no. Just need, it. just need it for the lights, right? That's about it. We tucked you in late early this morning, honey. We know what those glasses are all about. No. Scott, Scott, what would Contessa say about Nate style right now? Oh, darling, I know. Contessa... She's very opinionated, isn't she? I always make jokes that Allison resisted all my advances to do her hair and makeup in the secret room, and Nate has resisted all of my advances to zhuzh him and fix him and tweak him. He's just being Nate, you know. Contessa does love him, though, and enjoys him, yeah. You know, I asked this, I, I asked this question to the pre-jury, but I said, is there, is there a part of you that sort of gets a different experience? Because it's not such a bad thing, like, to go in the pre-jury. You still get to watch the show. You get to comment on it. You get to do interviews. You get to say, oh, here's what I would have done and look, like, way smarter. So is there a benefit to going before the jury? I think so, because then, like, you, get a, you had the experience of being in here, and you had a lot of fun. You got to meet everybody, actually. But then you get to go home and actually watch and get the third-person view, you know? You get to see, like, this person was fake to me at this point. And and now I get that. And it's like, now you could go on, tweet, whatever, and go online, meet up with you, go on, talk. And that's the thing. You could talk about the game. And I think that being in the jury, you're so, like, closed off. It's like, you know, when the next person comes in, what they tell you is what you have to go with. You know, it's like kind of like, you know, unless your own opinion. That's what it is. Scott, uh, what do you think? You know, that's a positive way of putting it. I think it obviously would suck to go out pre-jury. I want to stay to the very end as long as I possibly can. But I mean, obviously, you know, to, to spin it in a positive way, um, you get to go home and build your empire. And I loved that. I got to go home and, and spend all of that time getting Twitter and Facebook going and setting up events and appearances and all that fun stuff that comes with it. So, oh, and then of course, you know, you get to watch the show too yeah, at some point when you have time because you're so busy. You, you know, I know you both are super fans of the show. I feel like today is a very dark day in reality. You know, like I feel like every pundit, every critic, every former Big Brother player was rooting for Netta. Yes. Didn't pull it through. What do you guys think? Uh, oh, my uh, gosh. Like, that was unbelievable. Great TV, though. Like, you got it. Like, people, when they heard John voted out Netta, people were at, at work, and they're like, I got to go home, and I got to watch that episode because I don't believe it. You know, like, I didn't even believe it when it went to happen. I was furious, and I was furious for the simple fact that whether it is a, a game move or not, when you build a relationship with someone like that, and they become like a soulmate, you are friends for life, you are family, mm -hmm. you bring them out of the sheer principle of you're both going to get the money. Who cares which one of us gets it? Because we're family, love you to the end. When you stab them in the back like that so much so that they don't even get the 20 grand. Like I, if that were me, I would have brought her whether, I feel like whether we, I would have won or not just because that is the principle of it. You got to just bring your, bring your, you know, to the end, right to the end. Eh. And last question is, do you feel like Sabrina is the real winner? You know, this was a girl that nobody apparently liked. Canada voted in. You know, Canada couldn't get rid of her. The house couldn't get rid of her. And she's you know, $20,000 richer, and yeah. we're three jokers standing here talking about it. By far, she's laughing. Like, that girl was so underrated after when Andrew left. Everyone was like, Sabrina's the next, Sabrina's the next, Sabrina's the next. Hold on, that girl's walking out with 20 Gs in her pocket. What the hell just happened, right? Yeah. But she was so awesome. Like, yeah. I've said it from the very beginning. We've talked about this. This show is about good versus evil. I don't care how hard you played the game. I don't care if you played the game like Sabrina played the game. If you were a villain and we hated you and you were obnoxious and all of those things, you, that cancels out any opportunity you have have to win and the right to, w to win you got to be you got to do it with a sense of you know character and uh yeah so anyways you know we'll all make up and kiss and make up and mend those bridges but no wow deep thoughts from scott here right thank today. you thank you so yeah, much thank, thank you, you nate thank you so much good to see you i get 50 dollars more if i do that it's true <laughs>